A reheating furnace is the most significant part of a rolling mill and an energy guzzler. Thermal efficiency and performance of a furnace is evaluated based on the ratio of heat delivered to a material and heat supplied by the heating equipment. In a reheating furnace, a large amount of heat supplied is wasted in the form of exhaust gases and heat losses. A standard operating procedure is a set of step-by-step -step instructions to help workers carry out routine operations to achieve efficiency, quality output and uniformity of performance while reducing consumption of energy. Standard operating procedure of a typical reheating furnace starts with the purchase of the right quality of coal. Coal with low ash content and high calorific value is best suited as pulverized coal. Each lot of coal purchased should be analyzed using an in-house bomb calorimeter. The next step involves the preparation of coal. Lump coal is first fed into the pre-crusher where the size of the coal is reduced to peanut size. Later, it is processed in an online dryer to remove the surface moisture. The dried coal is fed into the pulverizer where coal is powdered to 75 microns. For optimum combustion, coal should be powdered to minus 200 mesh. Fineness of coal should be regularly checked for optimum efficiency. Hammer, liner and classifier should be maintained at optimum level. Once coal is processed to the required fineness, it is fed into the furnace along with combustion air to provide the required heat in the furnace. Fuel burns in the furnace to give the required heat to raise the temperature of the charge above the recrystallization temperature of steel above which steel becomes malleable and ductile and is suitable for rolling. Best operating practices for a reheating furnace include maintaining furnace at correct temperature regime, underheating will affect rolling, reduce heat losses from the reheating furnace by using proper refractories to keep the skin wall temperature at less than 60 degrees Celsius above ambient temperature, reduce the heat losses from the reheating furnace by keeping the doors and openings closed tightly, maintain correct temperature for different zones of the furnace, recover maximum heat from the flue gases through suitable waste heat recovery systems, maintain a hearth productivity of greater than 275 kg per meter square per hour, automate the process of heating and maintenance of the temperature, proper insulation of recuperator and hot air pipeline from recuperator to burners should be ensured, frequent cleaning of recuperator tubes for the soot or unburnt deposits should be ensured. Ensure that furnace is running at a slight positive pressure with no ingress of cold air from openings. Use damper installed in the flue gas path for pressure control in the furnace. Adoption of standard operating procedures is useful to streamline the business. Key benefits include it reduces learning curve or training needs for new employees. It ensures business continuity. It helps in standardizing processes. It leads to client satisfaction and it leads to quality control.